In this video, I am going to show you a very interesting model which you can use for local feature matching between images. This model is Light Glue, which has been developed by researchers at ETH Zurich. It improves upon the earlier Super Glue model by being more memory efficient, computationally lighter, and easier to train. This is Fahad Mirza, and I welcome you to the channel. Light glue works by matching two sets of key points, typically extracted using a model like SuperPoint and finding correspondences while discarding non-matchable points early in the process. I'm going to talk a bit more about it, but I think this is one of those models which really can be explained by showing you. So let me get started for installation process. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA H100 with 80 GB of VRAM, but I don't think so that you would need that much VRAM and I will show you it in real time. Let's wait for it to get created. Next up, let me git clone the repo of this light glue and I will drop the link to it in video's description and that is done. And afterwards, we need to install all the requirements from the root of the repo. And while that happens, let me also uh, introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. Also, if you're looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mass Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So please do check them out. And everything is installed. Now we can launch our Gradio demo by running this script from the root of the repo. And now we can access it in our browser at localhost at port 7860. Let me post it here. And this is what it looks like. Let me show you an example first from the root of the repo. So this is a first image. This is a second image. Both are similar. Let's see how it does the feature matching. So I'm just going to click on match images. Let's wait for it to run. Let me also show you the VRAM consumption. So it is consuming. Okay, I think, yep, it's very light, right? You see just around 1.5 gig or so it consumed. That's it. And if I just go back here, you see this is where it has matched this uh, White House here. And I believe these green lines are the match. And then this color scheme tells you, like if you check here, um, you know, high scores are green and lower scores, scores are red, as you can see in this image. And I believe there are various shades of red, orange, and or, you know, but just uh, fades as per the uh, feature imagery. Okay, so let's try out maybe a couple of images from my local system. I'm just going to click here and here. Let me select the images. So I have selected these two images from my local system. Let's check it out. And you see, it, it is very quick. So it has mashed most of the stuff, but of course you see this is different. So by hand um, stuff, so it has given it a different connotation. Now there are a few mistakes, but I think because these are not identical images, that is why I believe it has done uh, some of the reddish here. Now, for example, if I just go and maybe select the same image as I have selected here let's see what it does now and i'm going to run it in front of you without editing anything and we will check out should be all green yep it's all green there is some of course uh, it's not perfect there is still one line i'm not sure why but i think uh, this gives you an idea what exactly this model is doing in terms of local feature matching now this is what they have shared on their screen which we just have seen now if you look at this diagram uh, let's talk a bit more about this before we do a bit mo uh, more examples. So you see, the architecture of Light Glue introduces several optimizations over its prede predecessor. It features early exit mechanisms that let inference halt once predictions reach high confidence and selectively prunes unmatchable key points 
to streamline processing. This approach not only boosts performance but also enables the model to introspect and assess the quality of its matches, making it more reliable in practice. While it excels in sparse feature matching tasks and general multi-view geometry problems in both indoor and outdoor scenarios, LightClue is not really suitable for broader computer vision tasks like classification or detection. But the good thing is that it is available under an academic license and <clears throat> you can use some of the open source implementation, but I'm still not sure about the exact licensing. So if you're looking to use it for commercial purposes, please check out its license from the repo or hugging face model card and the link is in video's description. Okay, let's do a um, couple more examples here. Okay, let's check out this one and you can laugh on my expense. So these are all AI optimized and enhanced ones. Let's see how it goes. So let me compare them. There you go. You see, uh, because it's the same image with different, uh, you know, enhancements and different, you know, changes. And it has done most of the matching there. So which is pretty good, uh, which is, I believe, really, really spot on. Okay, let's try out another one. Okay, next up, let's see if it can do this scientific um, matching of this or not. Not really. I thought it might be able to do these ones, but there is no nothing which matches really. Uh, some of the boxes do, but not really much. Okay, that's pretty good. They are totally different images. So you see that performance is quite interesting. Okay, let's check out another one. And these are all AI generated, by the way, so don't really uh get any ideas okay let's check it out you see i don't know why this is the similarity there i have no idea but these are two totally different images okay so that is good next up let's see if it can do the matching in the darker images so these are some dark rooms so let me run this okay so you see it has done some of the matching, but they are totally different images. But due to the dark, the model has given some of the similarities. But all, overall, we can tell these are two different images. So I think pretty good model in terms of uh, even darker ones too. And finally, let's compare these two images, which is a truck art, very famous in uh, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and few other countries. So let's run this. And these are all AI generated by the way. You see, there is some matching, but as these are two different trucks, the model didn't get confused. So really good stuff. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for all the support.